All right. Now, before we move on to anything else, I want us to, to fix this side real quick. So let's go into edit mode. We're going to take each of these vertices here and try to flatten it out to match the trunk right here because you can see in the reference image that's what we have so we're going to flatten it out and transition it all the way to the back like that so let's let's start on this so we're going to take um let me see I'll take from here let me click this one first let me hide this real quick so I'm going to take this from here all the way to this one I want to change the pivoting point to active element uh, active element I want to press S and Y and type in 0 to flatten it like that. I want to do the same with the middle one. S and Y type in 0 like that. And the same with this last one over here. So that is what I want to do with the rest of the vertices right here. So I might actually time lapse this part out. So I'm not going to be speaking. I might actually time lapse this all of this side out. So just do as I did. Alright, so you can see that is looking great now. So we're going to do the same thing down here. We're just going to make sure the, the panels down here are matching with the ones up here. So let's do that real quick. Yeah, so as you can see, I'm basically taking each of these vertices and scaling it with the uh, corresponding vertices above it. So I take the ends here, I take the very ends here, and then I move up here and take the very end here and press S and then Y and type in 0. So they are on the same line with it vertically from, I mean, from top to down. And I'm going to go into wireframe, select the next one next to it like that and select the middle one here as well, press S and then Y and type in 0. So you can see it moves it to the, that place for us like that again. And I'm going to take this one as well, 
and finally take the one that is on the very surface like that press S and Y and type in 0 so that's basically what I'm doing to all of them I think I may have forgotten to do it to this one so let's do it to this one quickly as well Alright, so I'm pretty sure that about does it. So that's all of it. Should be looking good now. Just one more thing we need to do. Let's bring back everything else. No. Uh, the trunk. Where's the trunk? I think I didn't name it. So we'll bring this back like that. So one more thing we need to do. I want to go into edit mode. We're going to take each of these beginning with this one right here. So let me take all of this here. Let me zoom in real quick. I mean the ones at the back here and I'm gonna select its corresponding one up here I'm gonna press S and then X and type in 0 like that okay so I'm basically moving it in the X axis until it's uh, it's close to the trunk like that I'm gonna do the same thing with this one I think it's this so S and then Y and type in 0 uh, I mean X and type in 0 like that and we're gonna do the same thing with this one Let's go up here, select that one, S and then X and type in 0. So you can see what I just did there. So all we're going to do is we're going to take this and then we're going to slide it even closer, E, to align with that side. And do the same thing here, E, to align it with this side and then pull it in much closer like that. So this is what I was trying to fix and yeah, I did. So that is looking good. nice so I don't know if we should fill this area here because you can see in here we have a little bit of a filling I mean uh, some tiny lip over there so I'm not sure if we should do that but let's try it and see maybe we can actually achieve it so let me take all of these here to that one and I'm gonna delete the vertices like that let's take all of these press S and Z and type in 0 like that I'm gonna do the same thing up here so I'm going to select all of these here, press X and delete the vertices, like that. Take all of this, S and Z, type in 0. So I'm going to take from here all the way to here, and I'm going to take the same thing over here, press spacebar and type in bridge, and select bridge edge loops, like that. So that bridges it nicely for us, but I think we'll need to pull this one back a little bit. So let's take this, and then that one. Nope. And then this one, S and then X, and type in 0. Yeah, like that. And let's take let's take all of these uh, all the way to the one at the bottom here. Let's do the same thing with it, S and then X, and type in 0. So very nice, like that. Alright, so I'm going to press Ctrl and R through here. Press E to align it with that side and move it in there. And I think we can add one more over here as well. So Ctrl R. Press E and then F and then align it with this side. We're gonna add in the same amount over here. Well let's change this to edge select mode first and then press Ctrl and R and then add it in like that. Deselect the ones at the very ends and dissolve the rest of the edges like that. So that is what we have. It's looking good now. So all we have to do now is to create that edge over there. So let's go into edge select mode which we are already in. Let's select this all the way to the top here, and I'm going to extrude this in the Y axis, pull it in a little bit like that, so I think that is about it, and we're going to press Alt and S, first of all let's change the pivoting point to boundary box, oh, yeah, and then scale this, first of all let's scale it in the Z axis, so I'm going to scale it in the Z axis like this, till we have it pulling up a little bit, like, that and I want to move it in the X axis as well just a little bit like that and now finally I'm going to extrude you know let's undo that real quick and let's pull this all the way in to there okay so it's about the same distance as the end over here so just pull it in until it's just about that distance press Ctrl and R add in one loop cut like that scale it in the Z axis now to the amount we were scaling it to before and move this in the X axis like this 
yeah now take this edge here and press F twice like that and do the same thing up here take this edge press F twice like that so you can see that gives us a nice looking bevel around it like that alright so I think that would be the end of this video that was all I wanted to fix in this video I didn't know it would take that much of a time but it did so in the next video we'll finish off the trunk and then we can get started we can get started on something new all right so i'll see you guys in the next video